What's up and good morning, guys. Hopefully your week has been going great so far. I want to talk about whether Cardano has found its bottom or not, or if we are at least close to the bottom. So as you know, Cardano follows Bitcoin pretty closely. That's pretty apparent when you look at the two charts. Actually, if we take a look back here, you know, you can see I got the Bitcoin chart behind me. This is back in 2018. And if we take a look at what Cardano is doing as well, it follows incredibly close to what the Bitcoin chart has done. Now, the scale is kind of off a little bit on these for whatever reason. I can't get uh, I can't get this to condense down just quite enough, but we're going to we're going to roll with it. OK, so back in 2018, right, we were going through the big, big bear market at that point. You know, these bear market cycles happen every four years. We're in the depths of one right now. And we can see that it ended up bottoming out around the end of December in 2018. Well, if we look at the Cardano chart here, too, we can see that it went through this same bear market cycle, this same drop, and ended up bottoming out around December 18th of 2018. That's about the same time. Now, obviously, there was this huge pullback that happened in March of 20, which Cardano followed that to actually ended up making a new low. Keep in mind that Cardano does not perform well when the market drops. However, when the market does go up, Cardano overperforms. Okay. That's just, that's what it does for whatever reason. It just overreacts and it just pumps way up. If we look at this run up that we had going into, you know, following through the last bull market cycle, we can see the blow off top that Bitcoin ended up having and Cardano followed right in suit with that. It ended up making new highs, setting the high, I believe of almost $3 there or just over $3, which was fantastic. But now we're obviously in this same decline, right? The shape of these charts looks exactly the same. Kind of funny how that works, right? Now, the question falls whether Bitcoin is at its bottom or not. And it's gotten to this, this point of retracement very similar to what we've seen in previous bear market cycles. You know, you can see here on the drops, there's a couple things that have gotten us here. Uh, I believe right up in here is where Luna was, right in here is where Celsius was, right around in here is where FTX was. So there's these things that have sent us down into these ranges that we're feeling right now. But keep in mind, again, this is no different than any other bear market cycle. Yes, there's you know different macroeconomic factors that are surrounding the market and keeping us down in these levels. But that doesn't mean that we're going to stay here forever, Right. We know that eventually the Bitcoin halving is coming. I believe that's going to be in 2024. So we're probably only about 500 and some days away uh, from there. And previous market cycles have shown us that about this time is when we get a market reversal. Now, this doesn't necessarily mean that, you know, the price is at its absolute bottom or anything like that. We may still see some lower prices still. But, you know, there's there's lots of uh, bottom signals <laughs> that are starting to form. You know, there's uh, news articles that are calling for the market uh, to be dead and all these things. And, uh, you know, Bitcoin going to zero, that sort of stuff. And those are huge, huge indicators that the bottom is already here or is somewhat near. Right. I think that we may have bottomed already. We may see just a little bit lower prices if we get any more bad news, like if this uh like if some of these other, you know, companies go under or stuff like that, we may see some levels that are slightly lower, but I don't think we're going to get like a 50% drop from here or anything like that. I could see maybe, maybe a 20% retracement on Bitcoin. I could see ADA maybe going down. Uh, I don't have trading me there. I could see ADA maybe going down to like 25 cents somewhere in there, but I wouldn't expect much more from, from there, right? That's, that's kind of about as far as I think things will end up bleeding. Now, I could be completely wrong, right? I'm not a financial advisor. This is not financial advice, but this is just what I see playing out right now. And I'm doing my trading accordingly. Okay. I'm starting to accumulate again in, in larger quantities as I see these levels hit here, because I don't know how long we're going to stay here. Eventually the market will, you know, turn around and start to recover. And I don't know how explosive that's going to be. We might be sideways for a while, kind of like we saw in the last market cycle. I mean, if we take a look here, you can see there was kind of sideways trading for about, you know, three or four months or so. Whether that's the case this time, like if we bottom now and sideways trade until, you know, March, April and follow this pretty closely. Well, there you go. You had your you had your chances, your levels. You might get one pullback here if it follows what the last market cycle did. But who knows, right? We can only chart as much as we can. And, you know, the prices don't always follow the charts. But this is what I see playing out for Bitcoin. This is what I see playing out for Cardano. 
you know, it's going to follow, I think, the Bitcoin price very closely. But as we get into some of the launches in the start of this next year, Cardano could just run and go insane. I mean, you could see some levels, you know, kind of up in here, this this no man's land up in here. So that's all I really got for you guys in this one. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you haven't already, do show your support for the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Hit that little bell again. That way you can stay updated anytime there's new content live here on the channel. Hope you guys have a great day, and I really hope to catch you in the next one.